see that. Oh no, that's from documentary. Okay. Unless. No, that's sugar with the guitar. Okay. Thought he was on tour. I was like, what? I didn't see that. This concert is all over Twitter. Um, I was going to say I did not see him at the concert, but that was from the documentary. So, never mind. I love this song. So good. This whole album is amazing. This whole album. Hello everybody, it's me, Brian of Destructive Media, back with another reaction video for you all today. Today I'm going to be reacting to another song from August D off of his album D-Day. I'm going to be reacting to Snooze. As per usual on the channel, this is my first time hearing the songs. We're going to watch a lyric video first, and then we're going to watch a live performance Suga did in New York. Seems like it's day one. Yes, it is on day one. I'm super excited to watch that. Everything I've seen from that concert has been amazing. So we're just going to pop on our headphones because music's always better with headphones on. And then we'll pop on over to my other screen and we'll watch Snooze together. Starting quick here. I'm going to go back over these lyrics for sure. I'm going to have to go back over these lyrics a bit. Uh, the song came in really fast. So far, I am loving this song. I've loved every song off of D-Day, like I said. Uh, so I knew I was going to love this one. A lot of you have said the song is one of the best on the album. Um, so I have pretty high expectations for it. And um, it's good so far. So where I think he's going with this song, he's kind of saying like, you know, when life gets tough, it's okay sometimes to take a break. It's okay to say like, you know, screw it, screw it for a couple of days. I need to take a breath, uh, especially seemingly like when you're getting screwed over by people that were your friends or something. That's what I'm getting from it so far. Yeah. Loving that piano. I will cheer you on. What a beautiful voice. This must be Wu Sung. Um, like I said, I know Ryuchi Sakamoto, I think, was the composer. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, I know he passed away. Rest in peace. Um, but I think Wu Sung is singing this part. Um, I don't know much about him, just what I saw on Twitter and stuff. And I might be misremembering everything. I do that sometimes. Uh, but his voice is amazing. Um, I want to go back over it here. It's a good night. I like that. Oh, 
voice. Wow. What a powerful voice. <laughs> Oh, is he talking about like other K pop groups or other famous people right there? I'm gonna go back over that. He's really getting into it. Oh. World has no patience. Oh man, you know, I don't know if he's speaking from experience with that, with his fame being like, you know, a leash. And um, I can imagine, though, at a certain level, it kind of feels like maybe you're being led certain ways and you're kind of just going here and there. Um, wow. This is amazing. I'm a bit speechless. <laughs> so I know it's good. Yeah, the industry, okay. Yeah. Oh. Voice again. Oh, I think it's say bye. Oh. Oh man, his voice just reaches into your soul. Oh my God, it's so good. I love it. Wow. Like a self-affirmation. You know, you tell yourself something over and over. Eventually become true. Law of attraction. I like that part. Okay, so now this is the lyrics from So Far Away by Augusty. I don't know if I reacted to that song. Um, so th I wonder if the 16 times means something. Um, you know, if he did it that many times for a reason. Um, like an NF song that he did recently. He said something 30 times or 31 times because that's how old he is. Um, something like that. Um, interesting. Dream. Lyrics, I don't think I've heard this song. Hmm. Humble beginnings, prosperous end. Oh, 
꿈을 위해서 쫓겨을 자는 그대 쉬어도 돼 오늘만큼은 꿈조차 도 꾸지 마라 당신이 말없이 어떤 미소를 내게 띄워줄 때 그제서야 비로소 마음이 조금 놀라 조금 놀라 이용기 Dream That is a beautiful song He's like, I believe in you I'll hold you while you're reaching for your dream It's okay to rest I know it's tiresome um, I do it myself But I don't want you to suffer like I have Have people at your throat Cutthroat Seemingly your friends, but your enemies I'm your friend I will help you It's an extremely beautiful song I love it um, The way I relate to it Is with my channel here uh, Like I said, I'm the thing I'm doing here is nothing on the level of what they're doing. They're actually like creating amazing music, and I'm just listening to it um, and just giving you my feelings. Um, so it's not on the same level, but it's stressful at times um, just because of the algorithm. You know, I have to put out a lot of videos in a very quick pace to keep up with other creators that have to do the same thing. Um, it's not that I don't love doing this. I do. I love making tons and tons of content and putting it out. Uh, but there are times where it gets a little overwhelming. Um, and it's not that you want to quit, but there's days when you're like, man, I kind of just want to sit and do nothing today. Um, and you don't get that. Um, when you're chasing a goal, when you're chasing a dream, anything, um, job, personal, whatever, um, there's not a lot of rest. If you are actually going to achieve it, you don't get a lot of downtime or free time to do anything else. Um, so it's kind of comforting to hear that song. Uh, this might be like a before I record song. Um, I have a couple songs that I play before I record to kind of calm me down or to get me in a certain mood to record. Um, this is one of them. This is one where it's just like, oh, it's going to be okay. You know, I feel so good after listening to it. Um, I have the live pulled up here. So we're going to listen to the live performance here. Uh, this was in New York on day one. Uh, we have the English subs on this is from enjoy BTS more. Um, I know a lot of you wanted me to react to the, uh, documentary clip, uh, but that always gets blocked and I'm afraid like that will get copyright striked cause you know, um, so this is from enjoy BTS more. Uh, this is from Suga's tour. Uh, go check out their channel. I'll have their link down below. Um, check out their videos, subscribe to their channel and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's listen to Snooze again. And he's playing the piano. I love it. I don't forget who's beside you. Kind of reminds me of that saying that people say, like, you know, don't forget who's there with you when you're at your lowest. Yes, very true. But also, don't forget the people that are genuinely happy for you when you're at your highs. Um, that aren't taking advantage of you. Uh, cause they're also the people that genuinely care for you. Um, sometimes there's people that like to enjoy in people's sorrow. You know what I mean? Uh, I kind of think that's where he was getting with that. I might be totally off and maybe projecting. <laughs> I like the multiple angles. It's really good editing. Good job. Oh no. That's from documentary. Okay. Unless No, that's sugar with the guitar. Okay. Thought he was on tour. I was like, what? I didn't see that. 
This concert is all over Twitter. Um, I was going to say I did not see him at the concert, but that was from the documentary. So, never mind. I love this song. It's so good. This whole album is amazing. This whole album. Yeah, not a ring. That he's just like, I wish all my peers luck. I love you all. I hope you achieve everything. I hope you're prosperous. God, it's amazing. What a good soul. That's why we all love him. Yes. I have your head on. So I was going to bring this up uh, before. Um, he's kind of talking about karma there. Like, don't laugh at somebody else's controversy. This might come back for you. Um you know, I see a lot on Twitter or even in real life, uh, people like, oh, karma's going to get them. I hope karma gets them. And that's not how karma works, I believe. Um, I should say, I believe on all of this. Um, how I think karma is, it's what you put out in the universe is what comes back to you. If you wish bad luck on people that, you know, you think are bad and maybe they are, um, it's still not good. It's still not good for you um that's this toxic thing you're putting out and that's what you're going to get back um and you also just can't not do things because you want good things to happen it's like a whole moral code thing an ethical code um but that's a different conversation so when people do that it's like no that's not how karma works you got to kind of just mind your own um hope they find peace hope they see their mistakes and learn from them and become better people. That's the ultimate goal. Um, we do want everybody to become better people, ourselves, our loved ones, and others to become our best selves. Um, you know, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough sometimes, but people make it tough. <laughs> I will admit, but sometimes you got to just let it go. <laughs> Not provoking music. I love it. Man. The editing skills are amazing. Enjoy BTS more. Huh. This is like watching something on TV. I love his voice. I want this on loop. What an amazing singer. I want to hear more of this stuff for sure. Man. I know that feeling though. 
there is no feeling like comforting somebody you love. And Yugi loves us all. We love him. Um, hearing that song, I have a beautiful, warm feeling inside of my chest. Um, everything's going to be all right. You know, Yugi believes in me. I believe in him. We all believe in each other. Uh, we're all going to achieve our dreams if we try. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to fail. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. Um, so this is pretty much my last reaction to D-Day. So um, I'm bummed about that. It's always a bummer when you get to the end of an album. Uh, but like I said before, then you can always start it over, and that's the best part. Uh, so I thought I would open up my box set here. i show you guys some of the stuff I got in case you missed my post on Twitter and on my community page. Um, I post a lot of stuff on my Twitter and my Instagram. I post daily, multiple times a day, uh, or tweet, or whatever you want to call it. I'm older. Sorry. I'm not in with the lingo. Uh, but you should follow me there. I'll have all my links down below. You can see these things a lot sooner. I showed them a while ago, I'm sure, by now. <laughs> um, I have to think, like, in the future, how this is posting stuff. Uh, but comes in a little sleeve. Um, this is the Walmart edition. Um, there's still copies down at my local Walmart have been for a while um, but it came with a poster right here which is super cool yeah yeah Ooh. it's opposite and backwards so my brain has to work opposite and backwards which usually it does so it's kind of weird I'll put everything over on my indigo box that I have um, literally only albums I bought in years and years and years probably 20 years almost um stickers some really cool stickers there yeah yeah I am not going to use those I don't know where I would put them because I would never want them to leave my possession so I don't know where I would ever put those stickers um then this is looks like a song yeah it's all of the lyrics just like old school back in the 90s and it's all on like really nice recycled paper. A lot of this is easy to recycle, which I don't know why you ever would. Uh, but it's nice that it's all like recycled stuff and easily sustainable. Um, no plastic, which is great. Uh, but here I'll open up to a page here. And it has all the lyrics. You can't see that. My camera's not going to focus on that. Um, my camera's nice, but it's not that nice. Uh, then this is just a picture book. Got a bunch of pictures in it. It's really cool. Really cool. I love it. I was paging through this. I don't want to crease it too much. So I try not to open it too much. Because I'm a bit of a, a book nerd. And I don't want to crease my stuff. I'm the same way with my books. I read them. I'm like peeking in on the page. Like oh, I can't see it. <laughs> um, but you know. You don't want to break the spine. Uh, then I have some photo cards here. I'll put them up. Got that one. Put in the middle here. Get my fingerprints all over it. Oh no. Super cool. Yeah. Yungi. Yeah. Th that's it. We're back. Only three. Um, lots of cool stuff though. Then we have a postcard of sorts. Postcards for younger people are things you used to send in the mail to people when you're on vacation and it would arrive before you got back. Like, oh, you're in California. It was a weird time. Uh, we didn't have cell phones or the internet, really. And then here's the exclusive Walmart thing, I believe. That's exclusive to Walmart. It's like a little picture sleeve. Um, the front is sugar. And it's kind of like weird looking. And then on the back, it says D-Day. And you can slide that in. And then, oh, like I said, it's backwards and upside down. So it's hard for me to think. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, and then, of course the album um and that's the bottom that's it not getting intimidated but rebelling and raising questions against contradictions of countless conditions the world demands wise words um you know the way i have been raised and the way i raise my children is you respect everybody but you question everybody um nobody is above anything or below anything we're all equal uh but anyways if you enjoyed this video please hit like please hit subscribe 
that does help out. Please share this video as well. That helps out more than you know. But until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of others. Take it easy. This reaction was made possible because of viewers like you. Thank you.